All right, a live look at our Valley Sky Cam. You can see the raindrops being blown off the camera lens there as we continue to get a lot of wind and some showers of rain here in the Valley. Take a look at the Dakota Magic Casino view. Live from I-29, the wind is ripping the flags and the wind and rain also combining to make for a very wet and cool scene. Here's a look from the Dakota Magic Casino uh, camera and now we'll switch to the uh, Luther Family Ford view. Again, that wind just cle cleaning the raindrops as they fall off of our view there. So a lot of wind and a lot of rain across the valley today and cool weather for everybody. As we take a look at your current conditions at Hector, rain reported 47 the temperature and your gusts to 44 miles per hour out of the north. Gusts this high make it a little difficult. Uh, remember eastbound and westbound traffic if you're in a high profile vehicle things can get a little bit tricky. Flooding also a huge concern across the valley with our winter storm of a week ago. That melting, and now we're adding more insult to injury with a lot of widespread rain. Oslo, major flooding is occurring. We're expecting it to go down a little bit in the forecast period, but here is a change. If you live in Valley City on the Cheyenne River, the Bald Hill Dam releases are being increased to make room for this rain that we're getting now, and that means major flooding is going to be happening in Valley City. That water, I remind you, will be going down the Cheyenne, wrapping around, coming up through the Fargo-Moorhead area as we go through the upcoming days. So Fargo's forecast river levels, even though we've seen them come down to around 18 and a half feet, will also be forecast to rise over the upcoming week. Temperatures in the 40s everywhere, 47 Fargo, 43 Grand Forks. Here's a look at our spiraling low pressure system. This one also slow moving, and that enhances the rainfall amounts that we've seen. The heaviest off towards Duluth, where well, the shores of Lake Superior are getting ripped with winds and heavy rain. Also, some incredible pictures from out there. Here's Clay County. We do have a band of heavier showers that stretch all the way down into the Sisseton Hills right now. So we're going to be picking up some more enhanced rainfall amounts here in central parts of uh, Cass and Clay County. Clay County especially out near Holly. We could be seeing another few tenths of an inch from that band that hasn't moved. As far as the wind, I've been getting calls you can expect this to continue. In fact, the worst of it could be taking place in the next few hours where you see red arrows gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour will be possible this evening. Ripping through the uh, southern Red River Valley, including Fargo, Moorhead, Wapiton, Breckenridge, Lisbon, and out towards the western reaches of Lakes Country. Temperatures steady in the 40s, but dropping slowly. Notice that most of the heavy rain will be taking place in Minnesota and northeast South Dakota. Then as we go through the overnight, the system continues to bring precipitation, but mainly on the Minnesota side of the Red River. So if you're west, things should be drying out a bit and maybe even clearing up. But look at this, yellow wind arrows, gusty winds continue. We're talking 30 to 40 miles per hour. And oh, I haven't even mentioned this stuff yet. That's snow. Some of you out near Bemidji, Park Rapids, portions of Becker County, particularly out east, all the way up towards Hallock a chance for some light accumulations of around an inch on grassy areas. Periods of uh, snow will become rain throughout the day and then we'll see this whole system start to wind down. It's going to be windy and cold for everyone. Best chance of clouds and showers east of the Red River. Finally, late in the day, when you join us for Valley News Live 10 at 10 on your Tuesday night, the wind should be tapering off and the clouds clearing. A blustery day, gusty winds to 35 and 40 miles per hour, low to mid 40s at best in Fargo. And we're talking 30s out across central Minnesota. Maybe a little sun will boost you into the low 40s out in southeast North Dakota. Tiffany Qualley, another beautiful and colorful barn photo from Comstock. Here's your planning forecast. After this thing blows the nest here, we're going to talk about some improving weather on Wednesday and Thursday. But look at Friday and Saturday. Most of Saturday right now looking good as I highlight your weekend outlook. Late in the day, a chance of some showers heading into Sunday, and it all transitions again as we go into Monday back into the 30s. That wind is always a troublemaker. It really blows. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. You bet.